Hello and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT1000 Pro Tuner. This instructional video will show you how to replace the lamp in the front panel meter of the AT1000 Pro. Before we begin, make sure you have the following tools available. A soldering iron, a medium and a small Phillips screwdriver, a 6mm or quarter inch nut driver, a hemostat or needle nose pliers, and some tape to make labels, and a pen or pencil. To begin, first detach all the cables from the AT1000 Pro. Next, using the medium Phillips screwdriver, remove the six screws that hold on the lid of the AT1000 Pro. Locate the six wires that connect the front panel meter to the main circuit board. Make six numbered labels with tape and label the wires number one through number six, starting with the wire on the left. Using a soldering iron, desolder all six of these wires from the circuit board. Using a six millimeter or quarter inch nut driver, remove the nut, the lock washer, and the flat washer from the three studs that hold on the meter. Pushing only on the black plastic bezel and the studs, push the meter out of the enclosure. Place the meter face down on a soft cloth to prevent it from being scratched. With a soldering iron, desolder wires number 3 and number 4 from the meter, being careful not to melt the plastic meter case. Make sure to remove any blobs of solder from the lamp leads. With the small Phillips screwdriver, remove the screw at the bottom of the meter. Now, hold the meter bezel in one hand and the back of the meter in the other, and gently pull the bezel off the meter. Carefully remove the burnt out lamp from the meter. Be careful not to touch any of the meter's moving parts. Remove the new bulb from its package and gently bend the leads so that they will go through the tiny holes in the meter face. Carefully poke the bulb leads through the two holes in the meter face and push the bulb flat against the meter. Turn the meter over and trim the bulb leads so about a quarter inch is poking through the back side of the meter. Put the meter bezel back on, top first, then the bottom. Now tin the lamp leads with your soldering iron. Reattach wires number 3 and number 4 to the leads of the new lamp bulb. Replace the screw at the bottom of the meter. Make sure that both meter needles are still zeroed using the zero adjust screws on the front of the meter. Reinstall the meter into the AT1000 Pro enclosure. 
line up the studs with the three holes on the front of the enclosure. Secure the meter by placing a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut on each of the three studs. Tighten with the nut driver. Using the soldering iron, reattach the six numbered wires in order number one through number six from left to right. Be sure not to short any wires together or leave any solder blobs. Replace the lid and then reinstall the six screws that hold it on using the medium Phillips screwdriver. To test the lamp and the meter, turn on the AT1000 Pro. Press and hold the power button to select function mode then press Auto to select the Auto-Tune threshold. The lamp should be lit and both needles should move. If not, go back and check your work. Well that's it, you've replaced the lamp in your AT1000 Pro.